Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We're doing another week in my life in New York City. I just got back from the Hamptons this morning. Go watch my last vlog to see the amazing trip that Fashion Pass and Gals on the Go collaborated on. It was so surreal to do a trip with Fashion Pass and like have our own brand trip as a podcast. It was really, really cool. But anyways, there's another vlog for that. We are hitting the ground running. I just got back. I haven't unpacked, which I do need to do, but... I want to have a birthday party. I had a birthday party last year and it was so fun. It was such a great excuse to have all of my favorite people in the same room because it's very hard to get people in the same room, especially in New York City. So um, last year I just did a birthday party at a, like a bar basically with a theme and it was so fun. So I'm going to tour a venue right now. A venue, it's literally a bar, but I'm going to go tour it right now. Um, it's walking distance, so I'm going to go check it out. And if it all works out, I do believe there's a disco ball. <laughs> um, then I'm gonna do it. I already have a theme in mind and I'm so sorry, but I'm not sharing with you guys because I don't want anyone else to do it before I do it. And I've literally never seen anyone do this theme, so I'm pretty proud of it. It's nothing like crazy. It's kind of more of a casual theme, but I'm like, I, it's very me and I'm very excited. So my birthday is on September 20th. So I think I'm gonna have my birthday party um, the weekend before that. So yeah. Um, I'll show you guys my little outfit. Top is Beyond Yoga. Tennis skirt is from Spanx. I literally love it so much. Lululemon crossbody bag. I'm trying this new hairstyle where I like did a slick pony, but then I braided. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like sticking out, but let me know what you guys think. And then obviously white sneakers. Put in my earphones. We're gonna go listen to some music. Do a little hawker walk. Honestly, it would feel really good to walk and then just see where the day takes us. I have an event tonight with Orium Collective. I'm actually so excited. I'm wearing this necklace tonight. They have amazing jewelry. I have other stuff from them as well. I have a belly chain from them. Super cute stuff. And I was so honored when they invited me to their New York dinner. So very excited about that too. Just got back and it was perfect. It was a great venue. It fits the right amount of people I want. I want like 100 to 150. I just want to be able to, to like invite my friends and then be able to bring like their friend. Because I know sometimes people don't always want to like go to a party alone. Like it's just... It can be anxiety inducing, which I totally understand. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And now I'm gonna like make invitations and send it to everybody. That's always the best part. I know there's like a few websites that people use and I'm like forgetting. Like I want people to be able to RSVP online and stuff, but have like a cute, oh, paperless post. I think that's what I'm gonna use. Um, so yeah, exciting stuff. All right, we are playing Chill Lofi Beats. About to do a ton of computer work, emails, make this paperless post, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I need like some dial down into the computer time. <laughs> finished my birthday invitation I designed it myself I was very excited I used paperless post and I literally there's like a text link like feature so I'm just like sitting there on my computer like text 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 it's so fun to like see people like RCP I'm so excited and they really like my theme so I'm so excited I love my birthday only because I get to like see all my friends like I'm literally not even turning 25 like a milestone or anything but it is just an excuse to have all my favorite people in the same room so about to shower because we're going to the Orium Collective dinner tonight. I'm so honored to be going. Um, so we need a shower. I need to wash my hair or I was thinking about slicking it back, but I feel like my outfit doesn't really go. Let me show you guys to the closet. We go. I want to wear this dress. It's like a black. Whoop, I'm tripping. A black wrap dress. It's from La Academy off of Revolve. Long sleeve. It's just got like a nice V, which I thought would be perfect with that necklace I showed you guys I wanted to wear. But I almost wonder, since it's like a low neck, do I need to have my hair down? Or should I slick it back? Because I kind of want to go to the dry bar tomorrow. So like I shouldn't wash my hair tonight and tomorrow. I'll think in a second. I literally sometimes I'll be in the shower and I'll like be not washing my hair. I'll have it back and then I'm like, mm, let's wash it. I washed it last night, but it's all, I don't know. Post shower bliss, baby. Robe is on. I didn't get my hair wet. Drinking one of these LaCroix. These are the ones without flavor. Um, love me some sparkling water. 
I have these Chanel eye patches that I like never really wear because I'm like, oh, I'll save it for a special occasion, but then I just never wear them. So I have them on right now. They're very pretty. They're very pretty. I don't know if they, I don't think they work any better. Honestly, I like the Clorane ones a lot. I like the Patchology ones a lot. I like the Peace Out Skincare ones a lot. I'm definitely missing the Peter Thomas Roth ones. These have a good cushion, but I feel like they're more for the aesthetic, if I'm being honest. Like, I feel like I wouldn't buy them because it's like, oh my god, they must be better because they're Chanel. They're gorgeous, and they're really cute for photos, and they feel good. They feel great, but I don't know. So, anyways, I wanted to update you guys. Super quick update. Um, I... <laughs> Wow, I just put everything on the internet. Um, if you guys have been following along, you know I've been having period problems recently. I've been on my period for almost two months now. And within that time, I changed birth control. Um, so that definitely could have been part of it. But like it started before that. That's why we changed birth control. Anyways, as of yesterday, and I like waited a full day to make sure I didn't jinx anything. I am not on my period anymore. That's why I wore like an all white outfit today in celebration of. We were in the bus on the way back from the Hamptons. And Katie was like, you're wearing white in celebration. <laughs> so funny. It feels so good. I feel so free. I just feel just lighter. I'm just so happy. So I had to share that with you guys. It finally went away. Just like my gynecologist said, it just needed some time. There were some hormonal imbalances there. So cheers to that. <laughs> okay, about to start getting ready, but I want like a little snack. And I bought this Trader Joe's bone broth. And I've seen people literally just like sip it in like a mug. I don't know how flavorful this is. I'm just dying to try it. So I'm just going to heat a little bit up in a mug and we're going to try this together. All right, got our bone broth. I heated it up as directed. I'm hoping it'll just taste like soup or something. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I have, I like literally need to be getting ready right now, but what am I doing this? It's really not bad. It's kind of like chicken broth, but like super light chicken broth. I don't know the difference between bone and like regular broth. But I feel like bone broth's kind of good for you. Okay, it's really like warming up to me. Yeah, it's like when you sip miso soup and stuff. It's like a warm hug. This will be nice in the fall and winter. I don't know if it's filling or not, but I'm sure you could like make soup with this. Like I'm sure that's definitely a big point, but this is so lovely too. All right guys, bone broth is approved by me. All right, I'm ready. Here is my outfit for the night. This black dress is Revolve. This necklace is Oreum Collective, the dinner I'm going to tonight. She did a slick back pony. And then my shoes are from Ray the Label off of Revolve as well. I just found out Kelly's going, so I'm so pumped. We're gonna walk together. We're going to Dirty French. It's at the Ludlow Hotel. Always wanted to go. So I'm really excited. I'm excited to see who else is there. I'm gonna use this neutral Chanel bag. We're just gonna keep it neutral tonight. Let's go. Look who I found. We're always walking in the street. And I like know. the same streets. Like the same these. streets. Right by Cass. Here we are again. Yeah. Delicacy. Yes. Our favorite spot. Our favorite spot. Our hometown well, spot. Astrami. Yes. Oh god, wait. I can't walk on this. Oh, 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 oh. Are they like... <laughs> Look at her outfit. It's so cute. I have a camel toe. It's fine. <laughs> Love that for us. Anyways, we're approaching now. Oh, I see people that look like influencers. Oh, Okay, I'm just getting back now. It's like way past my bedtime. <laughs> um, wow, what an amazing dinner. The Orium, I was gonna say the team. Cass and her husband Matt, they created Orium Collective together and it's just such an amazing line. You probably see them on Instagram all the time. I seriously love the line and they were just so kind and it was so crazy because I just felt very honored to be there. It wasn't like the typical um, New York influencer scene. It was a lot of like fashion bloggers that I used to follow or I still follow but like and I love their stuff still but it, I was like oh my god Danielle like four years ago would have been like holy fuck like that's so cool um, and they're all just like normal people just like us and it was just, <laughs> just like us. Um, I don't even call them fashion bloggers but like Instagram fashion New York girlies and a lot of them have like moved from New York since um, but they like happen to be in town um, and like met some people that we've been like following each other for a while and like never got to meet in person. So it was just cool. It was just, I'm really, really happy. It was a really cool intimate event. And they said they invited me cause they saw like 
that I've like worn their stuff before, like I've purchased. They were like, you purchased our belly chain and wore it. Like that meant the world. I was like, that is so kind. So um, yeah, they're having a pop-up this weekend at Intermix in Soho. So it's kind of like to celebrate that. But anyways, I'm just taking off my makeup now in a terrible way. I'm just like ripping at my skin, which is not good. Uh, I need to wash my face with some Glenza. Oh um, yeah, it was a nice night and I'm excited tomorrow morning. I'm getting a pedicure and well, I need to wake up early. I'm really trying to like get on this mode. My friend Jazz does this like she wakes up every morning, goes for a walk, like a long walk. And like that's all she does to work out. And like, I just think that's like, if you can really get a long walk in, like it's so good for you. I just remembered I put like bronzer on my neck. Maybe I should just like hop in the shower, honestly. But I don't know, I love my like, cozy leisurely mornings like i love having my coffee and like having a slow morning rather than like getting up and walking so i like need to do all that but then by the time that happens i like need to get ready for my day so i don't know but maybe i'll wake up and go for a walk like after i have my coffee and stuff uh but yeah pedicure and then my best friend delaney is coming into town tomorrow she's hopefully moving to new york city so she's coming this weekend with her mom to not tour apartments, but to like tour neighborhoods and kind of like get a feel for the city. Like she doesn't really know where she wants to live. So they're getting a hotel. She's not staying with me, but I'm going to be with them obviously all weekend. So I'm like getting my, like just getting excited for that. Um, but yeah, I have like a meeting tomorrow, an event, like a little thing for Spanx. I love Spanx. So yeah, I don't know. I'm like in a chatty mood. I like have sent so many people audio messages. And everyone's asleep. I'm like, talk to me. <laughs> Um, anyways, I am going to hop into the shower. It just feels right like a warm shower before bed is such a vibe and I'll see you guys in the morning Buddy, it's Thursday morning. Delaney and her mom just landed in New York City. I'm so excited. I've got some errands to run, some things to do. Had to get a pedicure because I realized that my toes aren't that cute and I'm gonna be wearing lots of like heels and stuff the next few weeks. I always get a gel pedicure, it lasts a while. This dress is from Fashion Pass, I believe it's the brand L Space. Love just like an easy black midi dress with a little slit. These shoes, they also have on Fashion Pass, I believe they're from the brand Bellini Shoes, but these are mine. I'm obsessed with them. Got my little Orium tote they gave us last night. I'm bringing my computer because I have some work to do. We're going to get pedicures. I'm going to Zeno Nail Bar. I've been there before. They give a great pedicure. Let's go. Pedicure's done. I just went for a light pink color. I have just a little bit of time. I'm going to fix my hair and put on some makeup, and then Brooke and I are going to meet with Spanx, which I'm so excited about. They do this, I feel like every season, they've been coming up to New York and doing a showroom of all their new stuff. I'm obsessed with their stuff. Their underwear, their skorts, their tanks, their leggings, their biker shorts, everything. So I'm like, I'm going. And also, like, two girls that I went to Georgia with work at Spanx now, so I think they're gonna be there, so that's pretty cool too. Makeup is done. I just slicked my hair back. I put my hair in a ponytail, and then I did the claw clip. It just kind of, like, holds a little bit better. I haven't perfected the bun. I've got this, like, pony, but the bun, whenever I try to, like, wrap it and secure it, it just gets all messed up and I get stressed, so I just do a pony or a claw clip. Um, I used the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and I just forgot how much I loved this stuff. It's like a tinted moisturizer CC cream situation. It's so good, so glowy. I used the Say Star Glow all over my face. Actually, before I put my makeup on, I think that was a really nice touch, and then I also used it as highlight after. Just thought I'd shout that out. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to make some lunch before Brooke and I head over. And I love when I have stuff to make lunch, especially, like, fresh, yummy stuff with veggies. <laughs> like... Ugh, the best so I'm gonna do another I think I made this last week I think maybe I wasn't vlogging I don't know I'm gonna do an arugula salad with like breaded chicken on top and mozzarella 
and Italian dressing. So we gotta put this all together in 30 minutes. Obviously I can do that, but I need to also eat it, so let's go. Ta-da, all done. I wish I had cherry tomatoes or just tomatoes in general. That would just really make the meal, but looks yummy. All right, time to head out. I added some earrings and some lip gloss. I'm excited, and then from there, I'm going to dry bar to get my hair blown out for the weekend. With Brooke, Hello. she's wearing the infamous it's Meredith so Blake cute. romper. It's by um, Bridget, acquired style. So good. She wow, her, it's like, good glow on us right now. Yes, it is. Love. Okay, back now from all of my errands. Thought I'd show you guys what I got. Spanx allowed us to pick out some stuff from their fall preview line, so cute. They're shipping to us, so I'll show you guys when it comes in. But they did this last time they were in town too. They sent us back with flowers, which is so cute. My baby's breath are still going strong, so I'm just gonna add this in with that. I think that'll look so nice. This weekend is my friend Seb's birthday, and I just thought I'd get her like a little something. Um, so I stopped by the store in Lower East Side called The Modern Chemist. If you live in Lower East Side or even East Village, like such a great spot for gifts. They have all kinds of little like things. Got this really cute birthday card for her. And then, oh, Amore Cafe gave me a little like rewards card because they noticed I've been going there a lot. And then I got her, I thought this was cute. Apothique, this is my favorite candle scent. I've been loving it. I have it as a diffuser in my apartment ever since I moved in. Such a great candle, such a great scent. And I know she loves candles, so I thought it'd be fun. And I know it's a good scent. And then I got her these huge matches because I feel like that's such a vibe to light your candles with a match, even though I never do. But those are big ones, which I think will be easier. And then I got myself, I just love lip balm so much, the um, Jack Black Intensity Therapy Lip Balm because I love lip balm, emotional support lip balm. And then I stopped by the grocery store just to grab a couple things. I've just been loving having some chips and hummus on hand. This hummus is seriously the best, Ithaca. I got a ton of avocados, because <laughs> I ran out. I think I got five avocados. It's an avocado! And then my dad was telling me I should start drinking lemon water. It's really good for you, and it definitely is. So I got some lemons because I already have like a lemon press thing. Been loving cantaloupe this summer. Usually I'm a watermelon gal, but cantaloupe has been hitting. And then I got baby carrots, of course, in case I have some fireball this weekend. And then a kombucha. So that's my little mini grocery haul. I've been trying to do that more where it's like I just stop at the grocery store and grab a couple things rather than one big thing. Trying to get back in a routine of that. But yeah, so Delaney and her mom got here. They've just been walking around. Like I said, she's here neighborhood shopping. So her and her mom this whole weekend are just gonna be walking around, checking out different neighborhoods, seeing like what feels good for her. And then from there, when she what's closer to time that she wants to move here, which is gonna be like early January, um, she'll apply to apartments in those areas. But she just like only has been to a few different areas like when she's visited. So I think that's really smart of her. I did this too with Ryan last year. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna meet up with them in a couple hours and walk around. We might walk along the West Side Highway at like golden hour. Or she also said her mom wants to see my apartment and my roof. So might do that tonight. Not sure, but I'm just gonna put these groceries away and chill. I need to clean in case her mom does come to my apartment tonight. Um, but yeah, happy Thursday. <laughs> been a minute and I just have these clips from the dry bar in my hair to just keep my hair out of my face. I just got an email from Sierra Belanger who helps me with interior design. She helped me design this apartment and she is helping me with my next apartment. I'm taking just about everything from this apartment 
Not bringing this couch because my next living room is a little bit bigger, it's longer. So I'm finally getting an L couch, which I'm really excited about. Um, and my friend Caroline is actually taking this couch, so it's going to a good home. And I'm not bringing that chair either, which I'm really, really sad about, but it's just not, it's just gonna make it super jumbled. Um, anyways, so with the measurements from my new apartment, she kind of made a layout based off of the measurements and like what can go where. Um, and we're also adding a few pieces, so I thought I'd show you guys. Okay, so here is my layout. Um, when you walk in, there's a hall, so we're gonna do like a little console table here with two little storage bins underneath, just the more storage, the better. And then some sort of artwork there, and then my mirror that um, is in my bedroom right now, I think is gonna go there, because I like the idea of having like a plain wall behind me when I take out my photos. Then to the kitchen. I'm going to have an island, which is really exciting, so it's going to be able to fit three bar stools, which is really exciting, so I have to buy three bar stools. Then my three chairs will go here, my dining room table, my dining room table, my little kitchen table. Then here is my new couch, or just like a, you know, where it will go with the coffee table, TV, console, everything, and then my plant that is currently here, I guess, will be on this side. Going to have to figure out where this lamp goes. Um, and then something else we decided to do, I don't know if you guys can tell, but right there we're going to put my mirror. This mirror, I think we're going to put there, which I'm really excited about. So this way my mirror will have more direct sunlight and I think it'll just be a little bit brighter. Not sure where we're putting the lanterns yet. And then she didn't put it here, I'm just realizing, but right here is kind of similar to right there where I have my mirror right now. And I definitely do like having the mirror there, but my next apartment, there's gonna be like a kitchen island and then the table, so it's just gonna be really cluttered. So we thought we'd move the mirror, like I said, over here in my next apartment. But then at my next apartment, this wall's a little bit bigger, it's longer. So she thought about the idea of putting like another, like somewhat storage little, bench or something there with like a piece of artwork above it which I thought would look really nice. So I'll give you guys a little preview. Here's some bar stools that we're looking at. That I kind of sent her some inspo with this style. These are actually from Target. Not sure where these are from. She has them all linked. But yeah, off the top of my head, I really, really like these. I might go towards these. I like the shape a lot. And then for that wall right there that I was talking to about my next apartment, I really like this. I think this could be really nice, except it doesn't have as much storage as like this. I mean, I'm not really sure. That's from Target, and then she sent some other options too. I don't think I really like that. She always sends like multiple for me to like give an idea, and I gave her some inspo. Target has some good stuff right now. Yeah, I don't know. I, what do you guys think? Like, I really like this. So like the dark features. But also this looks like it might store more. But I like the prices. That's lovely. And then as for bed, I think I'm going to be selling my bed because I'm realizing I really need storage under my bed. So she was thinking of different ideas we could do and she thought of this. This is a bed frame from Walmart. Super inexpensive, like $100. And it allowed me to keep my nightstands and everything. But I'll have storage. I could put bins under the bed, which is huge for the program. And then instead of getting a headboard, she found these wood panels on Crate and Barrel, I think. And this is, she was like, you're going to love it. It's very one hotel. And I think I'm obsessed with this. Or she sent this, which I really, really like. Um, it's from West Elm. I actually almost chose this instead of the one I currently have. So it's funny that it's popping back up again. But like with this, I would just, you know, do what I have now and just switch out the bed. So I'm just trying to decide what to do. I mean, this definitely looks better. I'm just hoping that, like, like, right now I have a headboard, you know, so I, like, have some cushion when I lay back. She was saying we could just, like, you know, use a ton of pillows to keep my, you know, when I'm reading and stuff, it won't be uncomfortable. And I definitely love this look, um, but I'm just trying to decide. But either way, I think I need a new bed because I definitely need storage for under my bed. Like, as you guys can see over there, we're getting piles of clothes, like, just the sweat sets. And as fall's approaching, I know it's just going to keep happening and I'm just gonna keep acquiring like more chunky things and sweaters and unfortunately my next apartment I'm not really gaining any closet space it's basically the exact same as what I have now um, I guess I'll be gaining that hallway so I'm gonna use that for some storage maybe I'll put a shoe rack in the hallway too honestly and then I'll have this extra storage thing right here in my 
kitchen area but yeah so that is something to note <laughs> but yeah i just thought i'd share that with you guys it's really really fun to talk about this stuff okay i literally just put on my same outfit from earlier and redid my makeup so but it just felt so good to take all my makeup off and like eye roll my face like it just had to happen i got so much done i feel so much better like my inbox is clean um so yeah i'm just wearing this same black midi dress from fashion pass my balenciaga bag um, and yeah, I'm gonna head over to meet up with Delaney and her mom. We're gonna do like a sunset walk along West Side Highway because she's actually never been and neither is her mom. And then we're gonna go to dinner at Lola Taverna. So excited about that. Let's go, I'm so excited to see Delaney. <laughs> I just woke up a little bit ago. I'm sitting here with my robe on. I'm obsessed with my Ember mug. My coffee stays so hot. I can like leave it for a second. It stays hot, so we love that. Last night was so fun. Delaney, me and her mom walked along the West Side Highway and then we got a drink because our dinner reservations weren't until nine at Lola Taverna. I get the hype. The food was incredible. The hummus was so good. I got the chicken souvlaki and it was fire. But I feel like we didn't end up eating till like, probably like 9.45 obviously. And I, we were all so unwell after we ate cause we like were so hungry by that point. So we had gone for a walk and everything. We hadn't eaten since lunch. And we ate our food and we were all just sitting there like, uh, <laughs> like in a food coma. So I, but it was like nighttime, but I was like, I need to walk this off a little bit. So I walked for like 10 minutes in a busy area and then I called an Uber home, but it was really fun. But I woke up this morning and I'm still feeling like full and like gross. So I don't know about any more late dinners like that for me. I just feel like that, um, but the food was so good. So it was worth it and I have leftovers, um, but I'm about to go to my workout. And then my trainer texts me just now. She goes, the gym AC is broken by the way. So drink lots of water. And I'm like, oh God. So. Anyways, today's gonna be a good day. Delaney and I are going to the Odessa concert tonight. Brooke and all of her friends are going too, so we're meeting up with them. They're going earlier because they want to see the openers, but I'm very excited. So, and then today Delaney and her mom want to like walk around Soho and Tribeca area. So I'll like join in on that a little bit, but I'm gonna work out, come back, shower. I also need to run an errand, so we'll see where the day takes us. I feel like that's been my motto lately. <laughs> Currently listening to this playlist that Katie showed me called Happy Country Songs. There's so many. Look this up. It's by a guy named Carlos. Just put it on shuffle. It's putting me in the best mood for the weekend. Here's my little workout fit of the day. This sports bra is from Story with an I. You guys know I love them. It's like a very light, light pink. I love it. Biker shorts are from Spanx. You know I love Spanx. Orium tote bag. And then my APL sneakers. Let's get this bread, as they say. <laughs> back for my errands it looks like it might rain and I'm like uh oh because Delaney me and her mom are gonna meet for lunch in Soho so I'm hoping this just kind of clears out I just got this little like loungewear pajama romper situation from Revolve it's obviously like not appropriate to wear out like I mean I don't feel comfortable wearing it out but this is so cute to like sleep in or me just like around my apartment 
like I love the low back I feel so like feminine so I'm just just putting around my apartment cleaning up a little bit because I think they're gonna come her mom's never seen my apartment and I'm about to move so we're like okay you have to come see my apartment we'll go to my roof and I also have some like PR products I want them to go through yeah oh my god I we should plan my outfit for a desert right now because I have no idea what I'm wearing okay I feel like I want to do these orange cargo pants because I literally haven't worn them yet and they're very summery but they're super light because I know it's going to be toasty but I don't really know if I want to wear jean shorts so I think these you guys know I love baggy pants tiny top I have this shirt from Gooseberry Intimates um I'll have to see if I like how it looks on I'll have to wear nippies with it but I feel like this could be cute with this Orium belly chain. <laughs> I love a belly chain. I thought this but then I saw them together and the oranges are not the same so eh. You're out, so I'm gonna try this on and see what this looks like. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. It's super comfy. I will definitely not get hot. The pants are like not stuck to my legs or anything. These are from Urban Outfitters. I will link them below. I have them in green too. I got them in a whatever my size is 28. Unless it's numbers, then it would, or unless it's letters, it would be a medium. A medium or a 28. Top fits perfectly. I'm not even wearing nippers, but maybe I will. And then the Orion belly chain just to like make it something like I know people don't really dress up for these but like it's not like a music festival but I feel like Odessa I think funky like I just want to be able to dance so that is that I kind of like my hair back too I mean right now it's just in a scrunchie but the blowout didn't last as I wanted it's raining the pour it's pouring the old man is snoring it's raining all right anyways yay this was sneakers boom done bag I was going to say this bag, but also LOL out all these beverages in that corner, including summer water just had <laughs> roll into beverages right now. I feel like this is giving a Halloween. So I need to figure out what we're going to do about that. Maybe I could just do this white by far bag or I feel like I have something else. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this makes the most sense, or I, yeah, I feel like this. I don't know, maybe. We'll figure out the bag later. All right, we've changed again. I'm going to go head over to Ruby Rosa Pizza. I'm meeting Delaney and her mom for lunch, and they want to have some New York pizza. And I've actually never been to Ruby Rosa. I've heard it's really good, and it's like kind of like a nice sit-down vibe from what I get. So it's about a 20-minute walk. Got my walking shoes on. Probably going to have to shower again when I come back, but that's okay. Got my Outdoor Voices exercise dress on. My hokas for walking. Let's do this. And the rain just went away. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Yesterday, yeah. Okay. I just spent the last hour. I actually took a nap, which is crazy. I don't. I don't take naps, but I did. Um, I tidied up a little bit. My entryway is just going to be how it is. I. That's what I'm excited about my new apartment. Is there's like a hallway, so I can like hide all my shit there. Well, people will still see it, I guess, when they walk in, but then, like, when you're in the main area, you don't see it, whereas here, it's like you walk in and you see the apartment. Anyways, just my makeup. I use the It Cosmetics CC Cream again, but I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, um, like, product underneath my skin before I put on the tinted moisturizer and it gave it a little extra glow. I have a MAC lip gloss on in the color Spice, and I like it. I got a little bronzer. I was bronzing my chest and I got a little bit on the tank. So I'm hoping that goes away, but got the outfit on. I'm just so happy. This like needs to dry. It's such a vibe kill. Um, but you guys already saw the fit. I'm just gonna put on my sneakers. I wonder if I need to bring sunglasses. I feel like no. Like by the time we get there, it'll be dark. But I could also see this concert being a place where people are like wearing sunglasses and you know vibing out. I have I have these from Vela eyewear. I could just I, I don't know. I don't know. I can never take myself seriously in these sunglasses, but I love how they look on other people. Or we have these. These are more my speed but we're gonna leave at like seven, so. I also ordered us kava for Delaney and I. We're gonna eat it like on the roof, I think, before we go. Her mom and her are on her way to see my apartment, and then we'll probably just go chill on the roof. I put some of the summer waters in the fridge in case they want something to drink. 
I also have like spritz and stuff, which I know they like. I should have like lots of random wine and champagne. That's what my grandpa always says. Anyways, I am so excited. Let the evening begin. We're gonna chill on the roof, eat some kava, and then go to Odessa. I've literally been listening to the set list because they're someone made a Spotify playlist with the set list on it, and I've been listening to it all day. And I'm so excited to just like be happy and have good vibes. Ah! We're both in our slick bag bun moment. Seriously though. I was lazy with mine. Yours looks amazing. I literally was just like, seems. nah. No, my hair was not having a good day, so. And then we can just be free, because we tried to take a photo last night, and our hair. The wind was too much. No, but... way too much. Oh my god, when I posted you last night, everyone was like, I can't wait for all the content. I got like a million responses that was like, Gwyneth and Becky back together. <laughs> I'm going to cry. And then I realized like I haven't really vlogged with you, because like we've been with your mom, and I don't want to just like shove the camera, so. But Gwyneth and Becky are out to play tonight. Let's go. Maybe I'll be crazy and get a beer at the concert, that's it. Oh my god, you're so crazy. I know, I'm so crazy, <laughs> but wait, you have to show your outfit. All right, where's your top Tip, from? Nasty Gal and Nasty Gal. Those pants are epic. If you're really tall, Tip, Nasty Gal is the only place I've found with pants long enough that don't like, you know, cut off. The oh, ankle. really? Yes. So Nasty so Gal long. for tall gals. Yes. Wait, I love it. This outfit is amazing. Thanks. Giving Hailey Bieber. home on the roof listening to Odessa. Hey, hey. Good morning everybody. It's early this morning and we are headed over to Chelsea Piers. I'm meeting up with Delaney and her mom and then my friends Elsa and Michaela who actually just graduated from Georgia in May and Elsa lives here now and Michaela's visiting so I'm excited to see them all and they had the idea to do a mimosa boat ride this morning thank god I had literally one beer last night um because I would not be able to do that right now so I was looking out for myself but I'm excited to see if I feel like it might be the same boat that Ryan and I went on a while back but I'm not sure um but yeah mimosas a two-hour boat ride it'll be very peaceful I'll show you guys my outfit I curled my hair with the dry bar curling wand and then I like brushed through it with a comb. And I think that's the move. Here's the fit, nothing crazy. I've been loving this dress. It's from Revolve, I'll link it below. It's just perfect. And then I'm wearing my white sandals from Ray the Label. And then I'm gonna use this. Let's go. take off my makeup. I love redoing my makeup for the day. I put on this 
Revolve little romper. Oh my gosh, I posted on my Instagram story yesterday and I always love seeing like what people like click on. So many clicks on this. It's seriously the best. It's from Revolve, $50, I'll link it below. This company, Height Mat, at H-E-I-T-M-A-T, just sent me this hat. Hailey Bieber has one that says Bieber and it's so epic and they made one for me that says Carolyn and I'm obsessed with this. Like this is so cool. Like, this is so cool because, like, if you know me, you know that's my last name. But if someone's just, like, walking down the street, it's not like it says Danielle, you know? It's, like, Carolyn. So, like, ooh, is it a brewery? Like, you know, like, I am obsessed. And they also sent me a hoodie that says Danny, which is so cute. But, yeah. I, um, just need a few hours to myself. Ryan is nearby at his old apartment, um, like doing like he, they're like painting it and filling the walls in with putty or whatever, like the things you have to do. So they have their apartment for like a few more days. So I think he's gonna come over for just a little bit. I, I don't know if I said he did end up coming over last night and hung out with me and Delaney on the roof, and then he slept over. Um, so we got to hang out a little bit. We have not had like good quality time recently though. It just kind of sucks. Like last weekend he had friends here. This weekend I have friends here. And tonight's my friend's birthday. Um, which he is coming to me, coming with me too. But I don't know. We're just in need of like some quality time. You know, and we're both like people that like to be doing things. And we have friends in town we want to entertain. Um, but it's like kind of become, and this is nothing to do with Delaney specific. Like literally she's one of my best friends. But I feel like a lot of my weekends here are based around like when people are visiting. And I don't know. I just like feel like I always just need to do things that feel right for me. And like, I don't know if that makes sense. Nothing to do with Delaney. It's just like a lot of, just a lot of doing things at all times, which I love to do. But I just need to make sure those things are like beneficial for me. Like, I kind of feel like, like I'm so happy I went on the boat and like went to lunch with them, but I also am like, right now I feel like I should like be doing something for me, like a self care thing or like work out or do something. But also it is the weekend and during the week I do a lot of things for myself. So I don't know. I'm just feeling a little social battery is low. Um, so I'm just gonna spend the next few hours to myself or potentially with Ryan for a little bit. Um, but he like wants to go watch football because he's like been working all week obviously so he's like let's go you know so oh He's here. All right, Ryan just stopped by but he was with his roommate who I love but I like wasn't expecting that and I was like oh come on in boys and we just like chatted for a little bit But they were super hungry so they went to go get lunch. I just took off my makeup I put on a mask. It's from the brand Rayel. Um, I'm about to do what I do best Any guesses? light a candle and I think I'm gonna watch Delaney was telling me about there's a documentary she thinks was on Netflix called or I don't know what it's called I'm gonna find it about Abercrombie so I'm gonna watch it okay I just finished getting ready or like doing my makeup I redid my makeup I took a nap I slept on the couch the documentary was incredible it's called white hot on Netflix definitely go watch if you haven't already Obviously, I love this dress, but so wait, did I even tell you guys what we're doing tonight? I don't think I told you guys what's going on tonight. So we've got a lot of moving parts here. Tonight is my friend Seb's birthday party. Tonight's not her actual birthday. We're doing like a birthday dinner on Monday, but she's having a birthday party tonight, which I'm so excited about. And she made it Studio 54 themed. So I was like looking things up and I was like, ooh, feathers, that's a vibe. I found this in my one of my last vlogs from a random store in like NoHo. But before that, so Delaney and her mom are obviously here and she wants to take her mom to the Comedy Cellar. So we're going to Comedy Cellar before that. Before that, we're going to dinner. So whatever outfit I wear, I'm like doing all those things in. And I wanna be dressed in theme, but I also just looked it up and it's also colorful. And this, I mean, I'm definitely gonna wear this dress. Like this dress is going to be worn this fall. Um, even with like a blazer could be fun, but I just don't know. And I also bought a feather top, but I lent it to Delaney to wear, so I think she's wearing it tonight. So, I don't know. I have this like pink set I'm gonna try on. I love this so much, but I just, I don't know if I feel, I don't know. I don't think that, I don't know if I wanna sit at Comedy Cellar on this, you know? I'm just trying to like think about all the things. <laughs> okay guys, I think I like this outfit a lot better. I don't know if it's Studio 54 by any means, but it's fun. It's giving pop star. 
bright pink. It's from Revolve. I'll link it below. I think it comes in a set too, which is nice. Or maybe not. Maybe you have to buy them separately. I can't remember. So here's the final fit. And we're gonna go to dinner at Mirandi, which I go to all the time. I feel like especially before I go to Comedy Cellar, it's a good pipeline. It's a Italian restaurant. And then we be going to Comedy Cellar and then to Sub's birthday. So it's a gal on the go type of night. Cheers. Cheers. Look who's here. Ready for our night. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's a diner kind of night.